I need an assistant like mascara, scalpel. Oh my Jesus. It, it's gonna get really weird. My nostrils are like this close to the mirror. Looks like this. You see what I mean? I'm dancing! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a ton of new makeup that we are gonna try out together. This is basically a huge first impressions makeup tutorial. I have never used any of this stuff. So using it for the first time on my channel right now. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I created a look as I went and I realized as I was using all the new things that this is one of my most full coverage faces and I didn't even realize it. So I was like, I'm really happy with what my skin looks like right now. And I actually, I did a full coverage foundation and routine on Style Code Live. It's so, so cool. Style Code Live is a live show on Amazon.com where they talk about all things beauty and fashion related. And I am featured on the show, which is so cool. I'm so excited to be on there. It's actually going to be on tonight. So exciting. It's going to be on tonight. So you guys, I have a link below. So go watch me, Amazon.com. Go check it out. There's going to be a live chat. So you can chat while you're watching the show and you can shop all the things that I'm using in the show, which is cool. It's gonna be a running carousel. Thank you, Styleco Live, Amazon.com. I'm so excited for this. So you guys have to check it out. It starts tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern time and 6 p.m. Pacific time. Don't miss it. So if you guys wanna learn how to get this look that I created today, whew, it is hot. It's a hot box out here. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Texas again. And if you guys want to see how I got this look and all the new makeup that I got and how I feel about it, how it wears and what it looks like, then keep watching and let's get the show on the road. So the first thing I'm going to use is this Laura Geller Spackle Mist. It's supposed to be a primer toner. I have to burp. You know when a burp doesn't want to come out and it's just stuck in your throat like a frog? It feels really good when you blow air on your face after spraying this. It feels so refreshing. I can definitely tell that it's going to hydrate my skin. My skin just feels so much better. Okay, the next thing I'm going to use is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. I have heard so many great things about this foundation stick. The coverage I've heard is amazing. Let's try this thing on my face. Completely took away my mole, which is good. I guess. I feel like this would be really good for on-the-go makeup. Put it on everywhere and then you just blend it in. I definitely see that it covers everything. I feel like this is a little bit too dark for me, but maybe we can work with it somehow. It does feel very lightweight. Next for the concealer, I'm gonna use the Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer. For some reason, I don't know why, I used to think this was amazing. I don't know why, but for some reason. So I have light golden and light honey. I think I'm gonna go with this lighter one. This concealer is also full coverage and a little runny as you can see. So I'm just gonna mix them together. Now this does feel lightweight as well, but it also is supposed to be very full coverage. We're doing really good with the products here today. If you're looking for full coverage, you wanna cover everything on your face, it's gonna make you look flawless. The only thing is it comes in these little tubes. I don't know, I'm not a fan of it. It's just a little bit messier, but the coverage is really good. All right, I look human. I got some eyebrows on my face. Okay, so let's get into the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and take this Rebecca Stella palette. Oh. <laughs> so it goes like this, it's like a magnet, which is cool. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this shade right here and just work it onto my entire lid. And I'm just going to pat that all over my eyelid to even out everything. And my eyeshadow is going to just glide onto my lid. Oh, it's sweaty here, sweaty up in here. I'm gonna go ahead and take the ColourPop K-Pop eyeshadow in Wilshire. This is part of the Karuchi collection. By the way, I just met her this weekend and she is just the biggest sweetheart ever and she's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and take Wilshire and it's this matte eyeshadow. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it onto my lid and kind of work it all the way into the crease. I'm gonna lay this down first because these eyeshadows from ColourPop are very creamy and I feel like they're gonna work really good as a nice base. And the next color I'm gonna take is the K-pop Crenshaw eyeshadow. It's a little bit of a darker brown. I'm gonna work it onto my finger and then just apply it to my lid like this. 
And I'm starting at the base of my lid and I'm working it up towards the crease and then flicking it out towards the end of my brow. And this is a cream, so it doesn't have to be perfect. You can make it a little bit messy. It is very blendable and buildable. This is a very pretty color. And then I'm just gonna take this shade right here and I'm gonna work that onto the entire lid. And I'm just loading up the brush and I'm gonna pop on the shade right onto the lid and just cover the entire lid space. And we're gonna work the shade, blending it towards the brow bone. We're working everything upwards. Ooh, I have an itch. If you ever have an itch, slap it, don't scratch it. Because if you scratch it, it's just gonna irritate your skin and then spread all around the area that you're scratching. Just slap it. Now I'm gonna take the Morphe M501 and just start to blend out the edges. If you're trying to blend a shadow out and you want it to be nice and soft, you wanna keep your hand towards the back of the brush and just Softly go back and forth. Blend everything out very nice and smooth like so. I think I'm gonna do purple. Okay, so I decided to go with the purple from the Sigma palette. It's called Russet. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it onto the entire lid. Everything that we used before it is just gonna help it look really pretty and transition really smoothly. All that work we just did on our eyelids, trust me, it is worth it. So I'm just gonna place my eyeshadow brush right in the middle and just start to work it out. Then I'm gonna take my Morphe 511. Whatever I had on the brush before, I'm just gonna buff it into the crease just to smooth out the lines. Ooh, that looks good, yes. It's that pop of, it's this one, the K-pop, Crenshaw. Oh, Karuchi. I'm obsessed. So now I'm just gonna clean up all of the fallout that I have, so I'm just going Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the lower part of the lash line. And for that, I'm going to take this Sigma shade right here. This is the right, cinnamon, this is cinnamon. And excuse my little boy hands. Okay, so I'm gonna take that shade right there and I'm just, because it kind of looks similar to the creamy shade, but I'm gonna use powders on the lower lash line so it doesn't get smudgy. And remember, these are gonna peek through another shadow. So you wanna put them a little bit lower, low to the blow. For the next shade, I'm gonna take this one right here. This is cozy, so I'm gonna take that one. I feel like these are really pretty fall colors. I'm gonna go ahead and take that shade and just pop it onto the outer part of the lid, the lower lash line. I mean, right there. I think that looks cute. And then we're gonna take the purple. K-pop is so similar to Russet in the Sigma palette. I'm gonna use this one. It's a little bit more creamier. I'm gonna use it as an eyeliner on the lower lash line. We're just using all kinds of eyeshadows today. I'm not gonna go in all the way with this one. I'm gonna just keep it kind of open. In case you guys are wondering, this is an awesome wing liner brush and it's from from Zoeva, it's a 317 wing liner because it's so precise. I'm gonna take Russet, work with me. All it's gonna do is help the powder really stick on to the lower lash line. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna put it on the outer part of the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna blend it. This is the Morphe 506. I'm just gonna blend it like that. And then for the inner corners, I'm gonna grab this shade right here. This is the Sunset Boulevard. I'm gonna take a clean brush and just kind of blend out the edges a little bit right here, just so it looks a little bit more seamless. That looks good. I'll take an eyeliner that I haven't used and it looks very interesting. So this eyeliner is from Ciate and it's called Chisel Eyeliner. It's a really cute pack. Packaging. It has little bows all over it and this is interesting because it's like a marker It has a slant to it and if you turn it it's, it goes a little bit wider and then it has like a little point So I'm interested to see how this is gonna work out on my eyelid today So I'm gonna try to create a wing liner with this wish me luck This is super super black. I don't know if it's easier or is it just I have to use it a little bit more to Say I like it or not. I don't hate it and I don't love it, but it is really dark This is flower the cosmetic line from Drew Barrymore. It's her mascara and It's really interesting and the top says twist three in one lengthen curl and volumize and it has these three different mascara wands on it So I don't know if it changes mascara wands or what I'm gonna twist it Oh my god. Oh, this is so cool. Did you see that? Let me just do it again for you guys. This is so cool. So, lengthen, right? It goes straight. What does this one do? Curl. And then volumize. 
This is so cool. So now it's time for the lashes. The lashes are really cool. They're from Mosquito and they are so pretty. You see how wispy they are and they're kind of PC. You know, I love my PC lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and take these and pop them onto my lashes. Ooh, this is pretty. I'm gonna contour my nose and my cheeks. And that's pretty much all I focus on. So I'm gonna take this light shade right here. And I'm gonna stop right below the cheekbone. You don't wanna go any further than that. I think this will work good. I'll do the sides of the nose. This is the perfect ashy brown, so it looks like a natural shadow. I know sometimes we do things because they're trendy and we see other people doing them. It's what they're doing on Instagram and we're doing on YouTube, but if you really don't need to contour your temples or your forehead, it's just a step that you don't have to do. But if you wanna try it out, of course, try it out, see if you like it, and if you can incorporate it into your makeup, but make it your own. So I'm gonna use this Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder, and this is in the shade Golden Nude 13. Load it up, load it up. Da, 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 da. That is my exact color. For the bronzer, I'm going to use the Jouer bronzer, and this is in the shade Sunswept. I'm just going to add some color to my cheeks. Oh, well, this is going to bring my face to life and then i'm going to add some blush i'm going to use the bloom blush from jouet looks like this i'm going to sweep it on my cheekbone sweep it back into the hairline okay we have two really pretty highlighters in the house tonight i'm going to go ahead and take this one that is a little bit messed up but it's okay because it's still beautiful okay this is a flexitate Nothing ever happened. Even over a powder, these guys work so beautifully. This right. is unlaced. And I like the packaging. It's so modern. It glides on like a gloss, but it gives you that intense color and coverage of an actual lipstick. I swear it goes on like a gloss, but then it's like a semi-matte, high-impact color. I've never seen lippy like this before, and I'm impressed. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, you know what to do. Thumbs it up and comment below what you want to see next. If you missed my last two videos, they're going to be below my box for you guys to check out in case you missed them. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already so you can stay updated with everything that I'm doing. I do new videos every single week so you don't want to miss them. I do want to know if you are the notification person. If you are that person that gets that notification, clicks on the video, I want to know. Put it down below in the comments and I will leave you a comment back. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching me and my craziness. Till the next video. Bye dollies.